Hey y'all, let's check out Dreamland. Hey y'all, so today we're at Dreamland. This is a mystical, magical, fairy tale themed Sam. It is kid friendly and it is also TP friendly as well. I did not get a chance to really look around this land, so we're definitely going to be checking out everything together. First things first, let's go ahead and do an outfit check. So trying to stay with the theme of the land, I wanted to go like magical dream fairy. So this is what I came up with. Pretty simple dress, um, nice accessories if I do say so myself. So I didn't really do any jewelry um, today. I just did a really nice headpiece as, the, as a nice accessory along with my flowers and can't forget my butterfly wings because it's like a magical fairy dreamland type place, you know? So I felt like this outfit was fitting. So I want to go ahead and do a quick shoe check. I believe these are some shoes that you guys have seen before so we'll just quickly look we do have some red bottom action going on today okay so we can go ahead and continue so this space seems to be like a little cozy cafe they have the cute little foxes everything has a very nice whimsical vibe Ooh, okay we got a real big dragon in the water. I feel like this land is gonna be better. Um, of course, anybody can come. I like to always say that as a disclaimer, but I do kind of feel like this land will probably be a little bit more appropriate for um, couples just for the pictures, but I'm enjoying it by myself. So keep that in mind as well. So this does feel like a very kid-friendly place um, to come. So I do like that because I know um, people have, a lot of people have children in Second Life. And so this is like a nice place that you can take your kids. It's kind of, I don't, I feel like it is like a whole different space for people who actually um, have children in Second Life. Like they know where to take their kids and things like that. I'm not very familiar with um, spaces and places that you can like take your kids. I guess like playgrounds and things like that. I don't really um dive into those parts of second life because um, they simply just they don't pertain to me because i don't have children in second life it's a nice little cheese board i like how everything is very simplistic but it um it's very pretty as well little birdie i love the nature sounds in second life i could never get tired of them never get tired of them so what i did notice on this land was it has a lot of ups and downs so this feels like it might be like on a sam but they they've built up as well as down so it's quite a bit here that we definitely won't get to see today i really loved how all of the colors they're so bright and vibrant and just gives you that very like happy feel well at least it made me have a happy feeling so I like that every level, it was definitely something different to see and experience. And I really, really liked that. I liked all of the little sparkly things and the dancing stones and things like that. Lots of places to sit, lots of places to take pictures. I feel like this would be a really um, fun place and a fun space to have like the kitties to be able to run around and things like that. You guys know I love a good pre-decorated house and this one did not disappoint. So it does have a more of like a, a dated feel. It, it gives very fairy tale in my opinion. They described it as a mystical, magical land and it definitely has that feeling to it. I didn't really know how to describe this space or this place because it's not, it's like not really a forest, but it's kind of like a forest. So I was a little bit like, eh, I don't really know how to explain the place but it's definitely magical, so that's a good word for it. I feel like I find myself being um, at a loss for words when it comes to visiting some of these lands lately, simply because um, in the past I have looked around the land before I actually brought it to you guys, and so me doing just like a quick little once over, I feel like I, I don't 
I'm not able to like script it in my head. So I don't want to say that I'm winging it, but it kind of feels, well, it kind of is winging it, but I like the feeling of experiencing the land with you guys because everything that you guys are seeing I'm seeing as well for the first time so I like that aspect of it but then I kind of don't like the aspect where I kind of feel like I'm in essence like winging it the nature sounds here are wonderful you know I love the water in Second Life this space really does have a very mystical feeling about it um, and I really like that. It definitely gives me like fairy tale, Dungeons and Dragons type vibe. And I really feel like that adds to just the essence of this space. And it really kind of makes me want to explore and just kind of look for things. Like these are the type of spaces where they'll have like a little hidden space somewhere, but you gotta find it. And sometimes I find the hidden spaces and then sometimes I don't. I really appreciate that they do let you double click on this land because there have been a couple of times that I've fallen into the water and so being able to double click and not have to go back to like a starting point really really helps out a lot. So they do have like cute little things that you can click on like I found this little thing that's a little bubble and you can kind of float around a little bit until you get to like a space that you want to explore and then you can go ahead and explore. So when I came here initially, I wasn't sure about what they were going to have on this land because it's just, it's named Dreamland. So I didn't know if it was going to be like a dreamy type feel or just like how they were actually going to like incorporate the name of the land into the decorations or the landscaping, but they really did a really good job. So that's what I'm saying. So each level just, it gives you like a different feel, just a different vibe. Another place where you can take pictures or just hang out and relax and just kind of enjoy the space and all of the beautiful features that it has. Every place that you walk on every path, it kind of feels like you're being teleported into like a different world. Every space has like this really cool zen type vibe where it's very calming, but you really feel like you're being teleported into just like this very magical land. And I really, really like that. I'm finding so many spaces that at first I thought that you couldn't walk to or you wouldn't be able to walk to. And you definitely can. Look how pretty this is. It's like a beachy, jeweled, magical land I don't know I don't know how they come up with these ideas but it's always so interesting just to kind of get a glimpse of how people in Second Life envision things and how they're able to just like bring them to life I really like this this is a very nice like observatory you can see a lot from up here what are these things is giving like potions, I want to see. They have the herbs up there, things like that. This is a pretty little house. Okay, I love the little butterfly rugs. This definitely has a dreamy vibe. When I thought Dreamland, I don't know what I expected to be here, but I knew it was gonna be something fun because most of the spaces in the second life are fun like that but this definitely has just that really it does have a very dreamy vibe to it cute little swing i love these jewels they're so pretty they really did a good job um expressing the name um, through the landscaping. This land has so many twists and turns, you're definitely not gonna get bored. Oop, oop, oop. Oop. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I love when they have spaces like this, these little like hidden spaces. And I really feel like they make spaces like this for people who are gonna fall in the water. It's like so it's not so scary because sometimes falling in the water it does it, it's a little scary because everything is just is like nothing I really like this they made like a little 
like a little underwater world for the people who fall in the water. So you have like a little something to look around. This is really nice with the little fishies. Oh, I really like this. I really, really like this. Oh, sunken ship. Because what's the bottom of the ocean without a sunken ship, you know? So, you guys, I'm going to end it here. The landmark for this land will be in the description box below. There's still so many places and spaces to visit here on Dreamland. So, make sure you guys check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.